So one of the questions I've been getting a lot lately is whether I'd currently recommend getting the Boogaboo Butterfly or the Jules Air Plus for parents looking to get an Ultra Compact. And today, I thought I'd give a quick, basic answer to that question, not in the sense of doing a full-on comparison of these models, since we've already done this for the Butterfly and the original Air, but rather just in the sense of what the key factors to consider are. And right off the bat then, I have to say that from consulting with patrons, I find the Butterfly generally to be the more regularly recommendable model, due primarily to differences in the seat dimensions between these two strollers, where, though a little narrower, the Butterfly seat is longer than the Air Pluses, offering more room in terms of backboard length and space beneath the canopy, a deeper baseboard, 10 centimeters more length between the seat and footrest, and having an inbuilt adjustable leg rest that's longer than the Air Plus's leg rest accessory and doesn't need to be bought separately. And all of these differences then make it the better choice generally in my opinion for people with children who are already over six months old or so since there will be a longer period looking forwards with an optimally comfortable reclined position and the model comes stock with all you need for this so you don't have to buy extras. Now, that being said, for people who are looking at longer strolling trips with an infant, such as if you're buying an Ultra Compact for daily use during the newborn period, or you're going on holiday, the Air Plus does have a bassinet option, if you don't mind the rather high price, and also has a deeper recline, which, if you also buy the leg rest accessory, makes it more comfortable for the six months to a year immediately after the newborn period as well. These prices add up, however, high enough that you'd better be sure that this is your best option, even versus getting a larger stroller. But there are situations where this might be a good choice for some people, and with a 10-year transferable warranty, one of the best guarantee offerings on the market, the Air Plus is at least not the sort of model where you have to worry about throwing your money away. So that's the gist of it in any case. For those of you who just want to know my opinion on the basics of choosing between these two models, not that there aren't many other differences between them as well, of course. The Butterfly's chassis is a bit more durable, for example, while the Air Plus is a tad better at handling bumpy ground and has a better shoulder strap. But if you'd like a more thorough rundown of these sorts of differences, I've linked a variety of additional useful videos in the description. In any case, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find that by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.